Hey there you guys, back with another model home tour over in Vickery. This is in Copper Canyon in Texas. This is the Glade Water model and the floor plan. And then the elevation is the hill country. So as we approach, uh, you have the upgraded front door here, the four panel with the shaded glass. Uh, so right on in, you have these uh, designer features of the three chandeliers hanging down below. Uh, this floor plan does start around 972,000. Uh, they do have two quick move-in models as well, uh, around 1.2. I don't believe they're yet finished. I think one of them is close to being finished and the other one is also just being built right now. So right inside of here is the first bedroom and the first ensuite bath. Take a little peek behind here. The shower tiles go all the way up to the top. All this is an upgrade in terms of the tile work. I believe the shower enclosure there is standard. Great can lights in here. I mean, great lighting all the way around. And over here is gonna be the office. Beautiful built-ins with the sconce lights. Remember if you wanna do something like that, you have to get the electrical done well ahead of time, just saves you some time after the fact. So if you are familiar with the Truscott model in Paradiso Valle, which uh, I believe just closed out, this is very similar, if not pretty much exactly the same uh, as that Truscott model. Off to the right hand side here is the media room, some slat panels on the wall for decor, Good size. And then you have some built-in cabinetry right here underneath the TV. Then right here should be the storage closet. There you go. Then as we walk on through, this will be the living area. I believe normally the fireplaces are optional uh, and then it's gonna cost probably around like eight to eight to 10,000 for an upgrade. I've seen as low as 5,000 over here is the powder bath. It's great that it's right off of the living space. I do like the shaker style there on the lower half of the wall. Give it some dimension. And then as we go into the kitchen here, I believe where you see that refrigerator is actually the alternative layout of the kitchen. Uh, as you approach, I mean, it's gonna be right off to your right-hand side, I believe, uh, as standard. And then uh, I'm not sure what the structural cost is for the cabinetry to have that fridge there on the opposite end. You have quartz countertops throughout. And then right off over here, you have your microwave and your oven, both KitchenAid. I believe for this community, the KitchenAid does come standard. So nice upgraded cabinets here with the painted cabinets. And then a little mini fridge, your walk-in pantry. Then as you move on through, you do have uh, a sort of coat rack area uh, right by your mudroom space. And then this door should lead out to the garage. We'll walk on back through. I believe this should be an upgrade if you wanted the cabinets and the countertop and everything there. Uh, vent hood there is also an upgrade. Obviously the built-in fridge, I mean the fridge doesn't come with it. Beautiful double wagon wheel chandelier. Here's a better view of the living space, looking from the kitchen. And then we'll head on over to the primary suite. Right before we get there, off to our left is going to be the laundry room. So again, usually the cabinets here are going to be the upgrade but it's nice, nothing's exposed. So, uh, you know, if people are accidentally opening this room and <laughs> thinking it's the powder bath, uh, that it'll all look good and put away. 
a good size primary suite here. You have the tray ceiling, uh, the wooden beams in between are going to be an upgrade that you have to do. Wallpaper on the back side there. Similar to a lot of the uh, Toll Brother um, floor plans with how the bathroom is all laid out. Nice freestanding tub. I believe that also comes standard, which is nice. Sometimes it'll come as framed. And then you have this glass door here. Usually also an upgrade, so if you wanted a glass door, uh, just <laughs> be aware that normally a glass door is extra. And then the rain head shower is normally extra as well. I think you only just get the um, that one shower head normally. The commode. And then here is the primary closet. Good storage capacity here. Again, a better look at how everything's laid out. I mean, not the largest primary suite bathroom that I've seen for this cost, but everything does look nice. Good finishings. Like how they hid away that uh, eco bee right there. It just looks like a rock on the wall. And then keep your eye on all those can lights. Normally, not all of those are gonna be standard at all. So you might get like the, the one cup light or you know, like one can light. So please be aware of that. The sconce light here on the wall uh, and this other sconce definitely upgrades. So if you want this for your own stairwell, uh, I would definitely get that wired ahead of time. Same up here, I mean like six cans here for the upstairs loft. Um, I mean, again, you'd rather have these six cans than not. Imagine if there was just like one ceiling fan, uh, just definitely not enough light. Um, again, with these three chandeliers, you've just gotta figure out if you wanna do one chandelier, uh, you know, three if you wanna do so, but to make sure you get all that wiring figured out ahead of time. Great built-ins here with the loft, again, with those sconces. And then these sconces here flanking the little study area. I believe this could be a study area or a wet bar. So I believe this is what is standard is this study area with the cabinets. Off over here is going to be your first bedroom upstairs. Again, good sized bedrooms here. Four can lights, decent sized closet. And then this is a shared bath with uh, those that are hanging out in the loft. So this is, you know, not en suite. That undermounted sink and the hardware, I believe, looks standard. Maybe the hardware is not, but I know that square undermounted sink uh, is normally standard. Here's a view from up top to down below. Those wooden beams up top normally are going to be an upgrade if you wanted to have that done. And then again, planning out those can lights. There's even three on this side as well as you approach the uh, opposite end. This should be like a linen closet uh, right now used as, you know, for the media storage for the model. We'll go left here. Another bedroom with its own ensuite bath, which is great. Upgraded tile work there. And then we'll go on across to the next bedroom. Again, the four can lights here. 
you never have enough lighting. If you're gonna remember to do one thing in your new build, please just get your lighting done. <laughs> that saves a lot of time and effort, as well as remembering where all your plugs are gonna go. So if you're gonna get like a bidet, like if you wanted one in this room, that you'd have a plug in right there by, you know, beside the commode. That way you're not stretching this cord all the way around. Gives it that better custom feel. And then we'll go and head out to the backyard and see the spacing there. So here at Vickery for these lots, um, you know, not the largest. So you take a look here at the backyard. I mean, it's a decent amount. I'm not sure if it's big enough for like a pool pool, maybe like a plunge pool, um, but good ceiling height outside for the covered patio. Uh, with the sliding doors. Sliding doors are always an upgrade. I believe sliding doors with the windows on top also are an upgrade. And then normally it ranges, you know, anywhere between 15,000 to 20,000. Well, let me know what you think of the house and thank you so much for watching.